Alright. Perception tells me to go this way. No, I can't be reading that. Alright, heading downstairs apparently. What the fuck? That was definitely downstairs. How'd I end up here? I just stole someone's things. Alright. I'm just literally stealing people's shit. I'm getting points from. I'm getting XP, so I'm gonna do it because I wanna get my next point. Cutscene. Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. These are troubled times. Brothers turn against brothers. Brothers Russia turn against has had brothers. Enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw, Georgi Antonovich Skawon. He has a mustache. Not a popular guy, I presume. I see you ain't from here. That's why well, I mean, I am. I just all the folks don't really hang out here, Citadel. to be honest. Before and after execution. Well, so. The time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment... This office is bestowed on me. No forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None. Whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocators. He sure knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me. Are you Polish? Uh, fuck. I ain't gonna give no yes, basis I part. feel Polish. My name's Victor. Wanda. This is Russia here. She's trying to head on me, bro. Get out of here. Warsaw! Premia Terora! Zakoizos! Idi na koi! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw. Aristobat. All right. Great heroes and their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Some what do they want to fight now? Here. Let's go then. We won the treble. The loud mouth. Damn. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. I didn't dare suggest it myself. You better not do anything. I could have gone for the proud answer, but. Can I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd, and these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Okay, okay. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace or of CX Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? 
<laughs> I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. Of course, bro. Let's go. With a book like that, I find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Or I take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. Okay. Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. Uh, that Those doesn't help. They hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? For instance, I could disclose to a soldier that you came here with ammunition under your skirt. Maybe we should see who they believe. A respected lady of Warsaw, or a common magician who just a hundred years ago would have been burned at the stake. Well, since you asked so nicely. I'm, I'm going just to leave. take a look around. I mean, I can influence people, so like, you don't want to talk shit? Talk shit, something, you know, some shit might end up going bad. Pardon me, gentlemen. The crowd has received the order. For now, zero response. We'll give them a moment. The rest of all, book them, interrogate them. Gospody will be home in November. Gentlemen, please forgive me. Maybe there's a faster way to get this situation resolved. Back off, Polyak, or we'll start shooting. Paniatno, scrum. Dova. I know you're calling me some sort of bitch, bro. Hmm. I need to find something around here. Some sort of clue. I got another point at least. I got three points actually. What should I go into? I could go into something. The skill initially cast a state on a random. I mean, I could go into this. How about we develop this? So now we've got that. And I want focus as well. This looks like a fast ability. But I want a bit more focus to be honest. Cool. Our build's coming along alright. I just need to check all around the spot. There we go. Now this is something. Let's talk to this cousin. See what he has to say. Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? I was trying to keep from dragging ordinary people into the fight. They won't expect us to strike first. How many are coming with us? Let's see for ourselves. Yeah, I'm ready for some fists. Let's go. Nah, bro, I'm good. My upgrade's Gucci. Yeah, I need to pick which seller tool I want. Yeah, I'll keep with this. Let me cast this on this Kazi. On a couple of turns, enemy reinforcements are on the way. Alright, let's make him suffer even more.
There we go. He's in a suffering state now. Oh, I'm sorry, G. Are you having a bit of trouble? Ah, too bad. Ow. But why do you attack with I? There are forces along the way. I need to get my, my bloody health back up. Let's hopefully get this guy into a state to where... Because he will be in a will be it should be in a suffering state. There we go. Gets punched right in the face. I'll use this as well. Just because it heals me back. Especially if yep. They have they have guns. That makes the um, so immune to your attack. Traits are related to different dimensions and they can be disabled. To so disable an empty trait, attack them with a salator. Hmm. Let's take away Kazi's focus. You won't want to shoot me as much. Maybe he's lost focus. Suffer. That's because he's one strong. Yeah, bro, his mentality must be strong. He is not. He's not bowing down to the demons that I have. God damn. I said suffer. I'll keep doing this till his mentality breaks. Ah, uh, there goes your weapon. Where's your bloody... Damn! Where the hell did I get that gun from? A bitch. Shulski, Victor. One of those Shulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. I'm just known all over. What you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that too. That bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Well, this is just Can I use the phone? Hey. Oh, so if I could use the phone, bro. Nonce. Guess I'll what go talk to Kazi. I don't know what that means. Quit squealing. First time in the big city? Have some respect if you don't know who you're running your mouth at. He's one of them that went after the Ruskies with his bare fists. I showed a couple of Russian soldiers when I think about the petitions. I have moments like that sometimes. And I gave it to some Ruskies in the kisser, too. There's this red-bearded fella sitting there. 
I glassed him in the face, then kicked him in the bean, and wham, on the floor. Kicked him in the bean. billfold, too. Did anybody ask you? Shut your damn trap. Well, are you from somebody? I'll just say... My name's Viktor Shulski, and I work on my own behalf. All right. Respect. First of all, I am a thaumaturge. Now them, I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla, who's a wizard too. I'm not How a wizard. You? you got a foreskin or what? I mean, that's a bit. That's a bit gay, bro. Fucking business. Well, that's no, a bit sus, bro. I was just. That's not Come a way to enter into conversation, Yoji. Because you, you, like do you a got a full skin? Lad. I'm just here for my father's funeral. I hope you don't miss the funeral toast. Welcome to Warsaw. All right. So, uh, how do I get out of you? I wouldn't call you a master strategist. You got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. Come on. You're not losing your anyway. sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, is it? I spent a little time on the Rue de la Raquette in Paris. It got demolished five years ago. We. Oui. What about you? You seem to know your way around this setting. You've been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? I'll just Let's end up in the slime. I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. That sounds a bit sus. Dutch pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rotblitz's cafe. Uh, okay. I'll just find a better little coin face. I'd be glad to tell you over coffee and jam donuts. I'm afraid all these screws might have more questions and want to keep you here longer. Then you won't just miss out on the pastries, but also an adventure worthy of a great cause. Shulsky! I see you won't be hanging out here long either. Another meeting. Fearless wonder. The smuggler of bullets proposed a meeting. Okay. Conclusion. I don't give a shit. This yours. That's right. Then take it and get out of here. Thank you. But I ain't gonna ask no questions. Fuck, they can come after me anyway. I've got demons. Okay. I'm gonna go around and look all at the shit because I get XP. So I might as well, you know. I wonder if I could just go over here and imagine if I could just go over here and open it. Okay. I mean, I had to go this way. Don't, not, don't really want to go this way. I got another point. I don't really know what the build is in this. Like, will you get enough points to get everything? Or do you have to, you know, just deli your points out and try to make the best build you can? Alright, there's one more area to check. Okay, now I'll leave. I got everything in here. All my XP's done. Need to go catch up with my father's funeral. Before I go, I need a deli point set. Hmm.
What should I do? I use this Kazi more, so. Dang! There's so much other shit. So many upgrades. Guess I'll just get over to wherever I need to go. Ah, there we are. To the cemetery. Pretty sure we just. Right, which way do you want me to go, game? This way? There's more shit I can read. Knowledge is power. Alright. Which one's my father's? Why am I getting XP for just reading shit? In other games like fucking Batman, there's so many notes that you don't get XP from. In this game, it's just like, what? You read? People read nowadays? XP for you, my G. Like, what? You know how much XP I'd have if, like, in games like Witcher, if they gave you XP for literally just interacting? I know I'm not going the right way, but I'm trying to get XP, man. I want. Trying to get to the next levels of power. I need my new upgrade so I can. So I can start doing. Start building whatever I want to build. I'm still thinking about if like this game is but this game uh you can I'm just sure get all the upgrades me. my name's Hayat Mordecai Hayat I wanted to offer my condolences thank you please, is that all this cuz he's ever gonna say I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart but how did he pass away was that his cause of death his heart I'm curious myself. I haven't had a chance. I'm to not gonna do the pronounces that even yes, if I hate I, them, I that's understand. my condolences once again. You know, he's you dead at the end of the day. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. Thank you, bruv. Like he he's just asking, you know, if he said it in a certain way it would be kinda like a the fuck do you want to know? I think yeah. I ought to arrest you, Taumaturge. I just got you. I haven't done anything, officer. What's the problem? I barely recognize you either. You still haven't figured out who I am? Don't be surprised. The last time we saw one another was 20 kilos ago. <laughs> Uncle Veronia? I will not keep you. That guy's probably all alone back there. Among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. This meeting, all oh, the family. Yeah. Let's go see my father. Victor. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad too. How are you holding up? Her ma is fucked up, G. Guard, but for now, I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at it yourself. What happened? <laughs> have you written to mother? I'm gonna just change yes, it. What can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family, family events. events. It's getting late. Because he literally just died. We've still like, got what? the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. Now, let's say good one now. Let's get this over with. No point in putting it, you know, putting off later. So, it was me who got it right in the end. 
Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. After brief suffering, fell asleep in the Lord. Brief? I hope not. Did you write this yourself? A tyrant, bigot, and liar, mistakenly absorbed, died after suffering all too briefly. That's better. Definitely closer to the truth. The day you died, you visited me in my dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here, and I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream, you looked older. <laughs> you gave me hell as usual. You didn't believe I'd succeed. Yeah, you told me all types of names, G. I've come back with two salutars. I'm sorry there are so many things I didn't get to say to your face. All those years, I said them over and over to myself in my head. How you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame in yourself. Someone else was always guilty. Never you. Mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. Ligia, because she wasn't born a boy. Me, because I was born a thaumaturg, but I didn't want to live following your principles. And now... There we go. Farewell, father. Am I intruding? Oh man, another person. What do you want? <laughs> well, what do people come to funerals for? I came to pay my respects to the dead. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. Victor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. No, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I haven't had time to think about it. I understand. I hope you'll find some reason to stay here a little longer. Mm, Again, don't like how he said that. My condolences. Everyone's so brief, but I do not like how he said that. It's like because he's got something up I his didn't sleeve. Catch your name. My name is Kanyechkin. Ivan Kanyechkin. Goodbye. He doesn't even do any good. He doesn't even do anything. Such interesting friends you had. Oh no, is that another salute? I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Something's raging. Great grandmother Josefina, a thaumaturg. Grandpa Nikolim, a thaumaturg. I barely remember him. I would barely remember shit, my G. Okay. I want my mental... I need my mentality mentality to be higher, so... Sweet. And it's bloody raining. Oh, Cherkas. Let's get the fuck out of this dead ass cemetery. I don't like the way Cuzzy was talking, but I don't like that it's raining as well. The hardest thing Everything's going to shite. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. And there's more people. Love at a funeral. Eros postmortem. Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Konstantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Her. <laughs> Faina. Thank you. Her accent is you, sir? so white.
We're twins, my dear lady. The Shulskis reunited. You don't look like a horrid cripple. Why did you leave Warsaw so quickly? Don't tell her anything. She'll write whatever she wants anyway. And we'd better get going. Okay. Since she said that, I'm gonna just chase her away. This like, because in the end she said we should just get away. So I'm just telling her, fuck off. Sure you can never pronounce a single syllable correctly. You feel me? You'd permit that to happen, Jack? I don't know. These proud, a lot of the pronouns that I've been getting, I'm like, oh, I don't really, don't really want to pick them. boot off its neck, Judge. I'm afraid none of us will live to see the day, my dear. Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Oh, I'll agree. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Oh, no. <laughs> is that the lawyer that, uh... Is gonna protect me because goddamn, might have fucked up a couple cops. Only a couple. Okay, here we go. Your what's up? What's up, my family lamb? Guests have arrived. The lawyers upstairs too, waiting. But try for jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grazina, dear. Let the guests wait. First, I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. I don't need to hear it. Make sure uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. What do I have to go? Man. Master Victor, good God, half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You look just like your father in his youth, completely his spitting image. Oh. Should I make you some cocoa, Master? I don't know if you want, want to hear that little? spitting image of your father. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. Well, at least there's like a good grandma figure the in the household. And the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. Well, at least she's nice. <sighs> I don't really want to go upstairs because he's getting his whistle wet. Let's go, let's go check out the gun. Let's see what, uh, what what's going on out here. There's someone, there's a pond out here. Okay. So it's a, you know, pretty little house. Not too bad, not too bad. Is there anything around? Why is there so many goddamn people? You're telling me he's getting his whistle wet while there's like two billion people around. Let's go talk to Cuzzy. What's up, my G? I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, Cuzzy. Pietia, <laughs> forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Huh. How are you doing? <laughs> Some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll eh, have so to meet everyone. again. Goodbye. Oh, that was a bit awkward. Uh, shooting at the Kazi. I wonder why I did that. I am a bit of a crazy Kazi, but surely I don't just go around shooting people. Okay. Pick this up. 
and then talk to. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Hey, eh? I, I thought you were upstairs. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasio's. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. No, Uncle, don't look no, at me. I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good Can we lad. get you up, Susan? A nephew like you is a treasure. <laughs> okay. But don't do any freaky shit while I'm gone. There we go. Something there. Oh no. Looks like she put them all down here so you wouldn't get drunk. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm gonna get this cousin a bit wasted. How did it go? Mission accomplished? How's he already drunk and he hasn't had shit? I think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to and raised a toast to the dead. And recently, we've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So, to an easy death. As Stasio and I used to say. <laughs> How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer. But such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was in life. What then? Am I drinking a lull? Hmm. He's drunk, so maybe let's do something. May the ground be soft, Father. I'm not betting there's an afterlife. <sighs> well, obligation fulfilled. Shall we got a little bit of drunk? But we'll be we'll be all right. Yeah, so let's find out what my father hasn't left me. Let's begin if everyone You don't, you don't need to be so... Would you all please take a seat? Ladies don't need to be such a dick about it, you might have left you like a dollar. My office vested in me by the grace of his imperial majesty, the emperor of all Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity, Amen. Therefore, my first irrevocable wish is to appoint as executrix of this will my daughter, Ligia Schulzka. Immediately after my death, an inventory shall be conducted in full accordance with the law. After completing the inventory, all my personal movables will be sold at public auction. And let the funds raised thereby be donated on the anniversary of my death to the beggars near the cemetery. The administration of the remainder of my fortune I leave 
without restriction, to the person of my daughter, Ligia. <sighs> I'm not even getting a teaspoon. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. I wish that the business should be conducted with modesty, prudence and honesty, as I have conducted it my whole life. The Joker to the very end. <laughs> to my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. No, just I would in. also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulski, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black, black rumors in the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly, though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last bequest poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulski used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Hmm. A grimoire disappearing. That doesn't sound good. Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. Mm -hmm. The grimoire. Could someone have taken it? Perhaps. In all that confusion. But why well, someone would stole want Papa's grimoire? An ordinary person won't use it. Would the Tarmata just happen to be passing by? Father had all his knowledge in there. But I don't know if it would be useful to someone other than him. I don't even know why he left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. Weird. A building? It collapsed on top of him. How? How did this happen? It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. When he didn't come back for a long time, I got the bad feeling something had happened. But then... We rode there together. An entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio, who had the bad luck to simply be walking by. To see him there in that condition, it's beyond description. Uh, Where did it uh, happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Shudmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. There's a whole wall missing, so... This was the death that fate prepared for him. I, I won't be a dick a just because pleasant end for him myself. I doubt even he deserves such a horrible death. Even you know, Ligia. Ligia is still, you know, it's still both you guys' father. Don't those might be the but, kindest words you've ever said on the subject of a father. I'll probably be lost. The sort of person to keep a portrait in a study of a family that was only a family on canvas. Not long after the painting was done, he got divorced, ruined the Nijitsis, and kicked out his son. But there the portrait hangs, as if family meant anything at all. 
I don't know what exactly happened with Amoritsa, but I know that Papa felt guilty. You don't want to forgive him even now that he's gone? The dead need no forgiving. And as for forgetting, I don't know how. It's just a shame about the Grimoire. What do you intend to do? Mm -hmm. I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. With your side, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or Uncle, or Detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? And Mordechai Chayat, could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have Here we any figures. other ideas? Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's yeah, but the true. thing is, he's he, the way he said the thing when you. he when he got there was weird, and then s shit started going and where are bugging out. At the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check the two. I've started stock taking there to distract myself and. I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, I hope. Now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones a rest. I'll see you out. Cool. I guess I gotta do my own investigating now. Goodbye, Uncle. And uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by. The most important thing is you're here now. I gotta disappear now. And then she never saw me for 50 years. Okay. Over, over there. What? Hmm. It's all weird. Something. Definitely unnatural is going on. Something is definitely off. And I do not like it. Obviously I'm going to get all the XP I can. Knowledge is power. Power is knowledge. I'll go talk to my buddy in a second and just go. I've got a wardrobe. Got no drip though, so. Bloody waste. Alright, first I'm going to go talk to my dude over here. Then I need to ask Liggy about the initials SK. How do you find our old stomping ground? Yes, I'm not too fond of this place either. This is where I had my last conversation with my father, just before I left. If you can call it a conversation. Can you see my dreams? Nightmares, actually. 
Ever since I decided to come back, I keep reliving the same memory. The Lone Shark Incident. I've been seeing his death more and more lately. I wonder if the shop is still there. Perhaps. Perhaps we should go there and check. Perhaps we should. I just got another. I just got. Bro, I got three points. Right, let's finish this off. I can't. I can't actually go to this cuzzy because I haven't got that salad tool yet, but it's, it's alright. Adrenaline increases inflicted damage by 50%. Um, I don't really want that. More shit. I need to think about what upgrade I want. Do I just save these two points? Or do I just say fucking just go like this? Okay, so we're finally into the area where it costs two. Two per. Alright, cool, cool. Can't do anything at the moment with these points. We'll go find out about the SK initials before heading off. found anything yet about the grimoire is there any way i can help no nope, she's definitely stressed in father's study i found a trace of a woman that i couldn't identify probably svetlana romyantseva who is she and what does father have to do with her svetlana is a russian aristocrat who travels with the romanov's court I can only tell you she was a customer of father's. A uh -huh. customer? Okay. If you don't want to say, then don't. Where can I find her? When she's in town, she stays at the Imperial Hotel. She might know something that will help me find the grimoire. Not so fast. To get in, you're going to need me and my connections. Svetlana is famous for her soirees where she hosts the Creme de la Creme of Warsaw. Let's let her we speak. Could go together. How about you track down some evening clothes and I'll sort out the invitation. And I won't take no for an answer. Sadly, you never get some different drips. Chance. I'll get me some drip. Don't worry, Kit. Everything in my wardrobe is antediluvian. I need a tailor. There's a shop at Eleven Pruzna Street that's fairly decent and quick. We also have barbers in Warsaw in case you want to do something about whatever you have growing on your head and face. Hey man, this beard's... My beard's majestic. Don't ever talk shit about my beard. My beard's damn majestic, bruv. Master Victor, let me guess. Have you come for some hot cocoa? Yes, a cup of cocoa would do me good. Help yourself. The pot is in the salon, along with some of your favorite cookies. It's been an age since we've seen one another. I'm glad you're back. Mistress Ligia is really struggling with everything. I just want the cocoa. Another time, Brezhenka. I'll get out of your way. Always ample work, but I can always snatch a moment for a chit chat with you, Master. Cool, 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 cool. I am about to go deaf. Answer, Victor. I know you're there. <laughs> Can't even leave, damn it. 
Hello? I talk here? Do you hear me now? Victor? Victor, are you there? Grigori? Yes. Victor, uh, where are you? On the other end of the line, at home, where the telephone rang. <laughs> Incredible. How did you know I have a telephone at home? Uh, something's interrupting you, Victor. I am telecommunicating with you to say I found lodgings here in Warsaw. If you need me, I'm by the cemetery. Uh, what number is it? Uh, yes, yes. 7 Povaskovska Street. Uh, number 7 by cemetery. Povaskovska. I'm glad. It's good to hear your voice. <laughs> it's good to hear you as well. Uh, goodbye. You bitch. Uh, I want to end now. What do I... Uh, like this? Wonderful device. Remarkable. Hello? Oh, and now? Okay then. His first time get His first time get actually having a phone in the sand. How wholesome. The hell is this? Alright, there's one to the left. Actually, yeah, first. Let's go to a barber first. I mean, I can get rid of the hit. I wonder what he looks like without his beard. Would he look weird? I have to go to a whole different fucking city? For a barber? For a bloody barber? This barber better be A1, bro. I'm traveling across the whole city for some barber who's gonna fuck me up. Wait for the time of day. So, did you miss the city? Mean G. Right, chat. Let's wait until. So, let's kill some time. Wait until morning. Oh, can't go in there. Barber. What's up, G? I literally crossed the whole city. Come in. Please set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. Alright. Oh! Oh, Lord of her. Let's see how nah, maybe. Oh, what should I make? Cause he's here. I'm thinking either this one. Nah, he looks way better than this. Does he look better like this or like that? I think he looks good like this. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied. Now I'm young. I'm not a, now I look a lot younger. When the hell did you get here? Alright, 
time to travel back and to head over to get some dress. Uh, where in the actual world am I? I do not remember the spot. This is why I don't take random bloody poles. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I'm taking the right path. Why am I so far away than I normally am? What the fuck? Like, I'm way further away than I than I was before. I didn't even go that far. So like, why did I end up there? Yo, what's up? Oh, some shit. There's some shit over here. I'm just taking everyone's shit. Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Sorry, what? You tell me. What is it? I won't bother you. All right. It seems like there's other shit I can look around. Ah. There we go. I found something to talk to well, you let's about. Let's get this over with. Motivation. I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier. I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two pad legs and a space for your Johnson. I don't know what else there is to it. If you tell me that, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Okay. Let me sharpen my senses. Okay, I can do that. Well, Let's just say I want to even close. Quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulsky, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. Now, I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. All right. Okay. Now I need to go prepare. I guess I'll just go back home. Maybe? Okay, there's a kid here. What do you want, bruv? The cemetery. Okay, let's finish this and then we'll go do whatever, you know, whatever Cuzzy wants. That is more than quick. I literally just got done. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. Recently I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Mm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. But I got pals. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go or have you changed your plans? Yes, let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. Decent enough. Look at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Very chic choice. Th 
Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. <laughs>